And thank you once again for tuning in to Patriot League. All access fans of both sides, America and Lafayette, you are in for a treat. Four months of a grueling season comes down to this. As it is, we're just moments away from the kickoff of the 2012 Patriot League Tournament Championship. Michael Gardner along with Zach Powell for Patriot League All Access here in beautiful Washington, D.C. on the campus of American University at Reeves Field. And Zach, unfortunately, uh, the way these two teams have been playing this season, both of them outrightfully have earned the right to play in this championship. But of course, there can only be one champion to earn that hallowed cup and to get an on-mag berth in the NCAA tournament. And American has been so close so many times recently, and this is really the best team they've put together in a while, and I think it would be a fitting, uh, not end, but continuation to the season if they could get a win today. And of course, once again, we thank you for joining uh, Patriot League All-Access telecast of the 2012 Patriot League Tournament Championship featuring the number one seed American University Eagles and the two seed Lafayette Leopards. And we'll Step back and let PA announcer Robert Sherman give us the starting lineups and the national anthem. Fans, during the pregame warm-ups, captains from American and Lafayette exchanged the handshake in the spirit of good sportsmanship. We ask that you keep that spirit going today for the players, coaches, and officials by practicing good sporting behavior, supporting your team, and being respectful in your conduct towards opposing players, coaches, and officials, and other spectators. Unruly and disrespectful behavior will not be tolerated. Additionally, the possession and consumption of alcoholic beverages or the use of tobacco are also prohibited. Spectators are not allowed on the playing field at any time. Thank you for your cooperation. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The Patriot League welcomes all fans, coaches, and participants to Reeves Field on the campus of American University and the 2012 Patriot League Men's Soccer Championship game. Today's final features the second-seeded Leopards of Lafayette College with an overall record of eight wins, seven losses, and four ties, and a 4-1-3 record versus the Patriot League. And the top-seeded Eagles of American University with an overall record of 11 wins, five losses, and two ties, and a 6-0-2 mark versus the Patriot League. Now let's meet the starting lineups. First for the Leopards of Lafayette. Number two, Kyle Scharfenberg. All Patriot League first team selection. Number five, Alec Golini. Number six, Josh Brown. All Patriot League second team selection. Number eight, Sean Peckham. Number 14, Rob Bedson. An academic All Patriot League selection. Number 16, Blake Fink. Number 17, Nate Aronson. Number 19, Peter Adubato. An All-Patriot League first team selection, number 21, Brandon Turner. An academic All-Patriot League selection, number 25, Julian Plummer. And starting in goal for the Leopards, number one, Nathan McDonald. Lafayette assistants are Nate Gaboni, Justin McCarr, and Michael Hurley. And the head coach of the Leopards in his 12th season is Dennis Bone. And now for the top seed in the tournament, the starting lineups for the American University Eagles. Number two, Connor Osborne. Number four, Charlie Hunter. Number eight, Jordan Manley. A second team all Patriot League selection. Number nine, Alisane Kane. A first team all Patriot League selection. Number 10, Cristobal Soto. Number 12, Steven Hoshold. A second team all Patriot League selection. Number 13, Ryan Morales. A first team and academic all Patriot League selection. Number 19, Colin Siegfried. Number 23, Jake 
Weinreb. A first team all Patriot League selection. Number 30, Dale McDonald. And starting in goal for the Eagles, a first team all Patriot League selection. Number 27, Billy Knudsen. The Eagles assistant coaches are Chris Hazard, Sean Kuykendall, and Nick Stames. The head coach of the Eagles in his 13th season is Todd West. Ladies and gentlemen, today's game officials are John McCloskey, Nick Manna, Greg Luna, and Michael White. And now let's get started. And of course, once again, Zach for the American Eagles, the one seed entering into this game. match. Had to feel very confident not only to be the outright regular season winners for the second year in a row, but once again, almost a deja vu for them hosting the championship on their home field for the second consecutive year. Yeah, and this year, last year was a, was a fantastic game. This year, though, uh, has a much different feel, and a lot of it, I feel, has to do with not only how good this team is going into the game, but you also have to factor in the weather. You have to, it's, a, it's a beautiful day out here today. You know, you're not playing in a those cold frigid games it's going to be a well played crisp game not as sloppy as last year's championship and of course once again we thank you all for tuning in to patriot league all access for today's cover to the 2012 patriot league tournament championship and the american university eagles enter in as the one seed with an 11 5 and 2 record 6 0 and 2 in the patriot league if you include the win against bucknell on friday and the leopards the two seed who knocked off defending champion colgate in a Thrilling, pretty physical 1-0 victory on Friday. Then they're in 8-7-4, and 4-1-3 four, four, and three in the Patriot League if you count their win against Colgate. But, Zach, this is probably one of the most talented offensive production teams from American that we have seen in years past. Of course, they go up against a very physical, defensive-minded Leopards team. Yeah, and what I think what bodes well for American is that it isn't just one of them. They have the big three of Siegfried, McDonald, and Kane. Uh, all three of them just... Very, uh, very good scores and and very dangerous. So, so really, Lafayette or Lafayette can't focus on one. They have to they have to sort of stop the three. And AU will hope to get one by. And of course, we will bring you the starting eleven as soon as kickoff ensues. But once again, Patriot League championship action. Winner today will have the valuable hardware and a chance of the NCAA tournament with an automatic bid as we are underway here at Reese Field. And of course, once again, the starting 11 in the goal for the Lafayette Leopards playing a 4-4-2 formation. We have in goal number one, Nathan McDonald. And a very back four, very physical back four, featuring first team all Patriot League, number 21, Brandon Turner, number 25, Julian Plummer, number six, Josh Brown, and number 14, Rob Betson. In the midfield, we have number five, Alex Golini, who scored the game-winning goal against Colgate on Friday. He was a first-team Patriot League selection. Number two, Kyle Scharfenberg. Number eight, Sean Peckham. And number 17, Nate Aronson. And up front, the two p players to keep an eye out for if the offensive attack of Coach Dennis Bones' team. Number 19, Peter Abidato. And number 16, Blake Fink. And for the American Eagles, 4-3-3 formation, the, the Patriot League goalkeeper of the year, Billy Knudsen. And the back four featuring number eight, Jordan Manley, number 10, Cristobal Soto, the defensive player of the year for the Patriot League. Number 23, Jake Weinreb. Number two, Connor Osborne in the midfield. Number 13, Ryan Morales. Number four, Charlie Hunter. A Schaffenberger shot goes wide for a goal kick for an American. Hoschild, number 12. And up front, like you mentioned, Zach Powell, the big three, the three of the leading goal scorers in the Patriot League. Number 19, Scholar Athlete of the Year and First Team Patriot League selection, Colin Siegfried. Number nine, Alisane Kane, a second team selection. And Dale McDonald, number 30, the lone man up top who scored the game-winning goal against Bucknell. Worth noting that last year, uh, Matt Mikowski was the Scholar Athlete of the Year, so a couple in a row for Coach Todd West. Always a very impressive thing to have. Now the thing in pairs here is Coach West is the first coach in the Patriot League to win Coach of the Year consecutive years. Mikowski had one Scholar Athlete two years in a row. Mm -hmm. Siegfried continues that streak of award winners. And, of course, multiple All-Patriot League selections. For the Magic 11, as we like to say. Once again, as you noted, Zach, beautiful conditions today on a Sunday afternoon here in the nation's capital. So it seems like the weather should not be a factor. It's more of a fact, will the field hold up as we are seeing some pretty damp spots, especially when the players are warming up? Yeah, I think it was a case of some overwatering. We haven't seen a lot of rain here, but... Uh Sunny day, it'll soak up by halftime. Yeah. 
I've just been noticing just a, I mean, obviously you're going to have an increased intensity in this match, but you just have to hope that you don't have any slip-ups if you're, if you're AU. Uh, Lafayette almost had a shot on goal already. And, um, yeah, this is just a different type of game already, and you can tell. Here comes Siegfried. He'll carry it. The right-footed strike just wide of Nathan McDonald. 6'4". Junior goalkeeper from Bay Village, Ohio, tested early. Both keepers tested early, which is something we should definitely expect in this match. There's an American team that's not afraid to let fly, led the league in shots for the regular season. One interesting thing to watch today is going to be uh, how Alisane Kane plays and if he's getting those opportunities. He has a tendency to sometimes disappear, and sometimes he's making every play. And Lafayette trying to attack. Weiner clears it out. Kane plays it back to Osborne. The Turner Plummer combo should be very effective. Double teaming Dale McDonald is one thing we should definitely watch out for. Looking for Abidado. Early warning for Abidado. Extracurriculars with Tanner Osborne. Needs to say some good officiating for this weekend for the Patriot League tournament. Peckham giving chase to Manley. Petson plays it wide. Al St. Kane slips it into Siegfried. And a foul on Kane will get the ball back to Lafayette for a free kick. Kane a little bit out of control there. Something people don't really see in Kane's game as much. They notice he's a, he's a great scorer, but he's an excellent passer. And him and McDonald work really, really well together and have connected a few times this year and almost connected on, on countless more. And so uh, that is definitely going to be something to watch out for today. It's always good when you have an officiating crew with a no-nonsense mentality as we've seen multiple fouls called early in the first half here of play. 39-48 to go. Patriot League Championship match live from Bender Arena. Michael Gardner, Zach Kyle with Patriot League All Access. Second year in a row that American has been in the finals looking for their first title since 2004. The Leopards, their first championship since 2005. Ironically, that last time that happened, Zach, they beat American 1-0 here at Reese Field. Peckham will take the free kick. Cleared out by McDonald. Hoshal giving chase. Weinrub heads it out. First corner kick of the match. Josh Brown was the recipient of that cross. Good job by Weinrub getting that, getting that out of bounds. And although it sets up the corner kick, he had to do it. It was a great job by uh, Lafayette to, to by get an eight, opportunity. Sean and Peckham. This is, this is really the, the first big opportunity of the game. Peckham, senior midfielder from Warmester, Pennsylvania. Sends it over the 18-yard box as Knutson comes out of his box to make the first save of the match. Looks like Morales may have tweaked his ankle a little bit there. Be a calf muscle. Or a hamstring has been yeah, nursing that is. all season. There it is, yeah. Injured against West Virginia, was out for about two, three games. Needless to say, his first match back was against Navy in a thrilling 3 2 victory. That's pretty much a pivotal point in the Patriot League season to know that American had the offensive firepower to come back from a one goal deficit twice to win that game. And Siegfried's cross, looking for Kane, slips with the hands of McDonald. Luckily, his 6'4 frame was able to scoop the ball up just. And that's why you always, fo you always follow the shot and you always just, because uh, cause soccer's a game like that where, where one goal makes a huge difference and you just got to follow and hope they make a mistake sometimes. Hunter, through ball, McDonald or Sanchez. What a beauty. Pick. 
Kane in the corner. Hunter left footed, cross in the box. Plumber's there to clear it out. Up front, Abadado. Defended by Weinreb. Of course, needless to say, this would be a physical match nonetheless, Zach Powell. The last time these two teams met was a 1 1 tie up in Easton, Pennsylvania. Spot kick is the call as Abadado seemed to get in the heads of a few Eagles after that one foul was not called and fouls on Soto. So back to back set piece opportunities for the Leopards. They had a corner kick minutes ago. 36 36 ago in the first half. Aronson will take the free kick. Coach West needs to needs to watch it a little bit. He's being warned right now, but you get you can't. You know, right now his team is sort of losing their composure out there. I mean, that probably was a foul, and, and, and you can't set that example. That's well too far. The sales out of bounds. Goal kick for American. A a you just got to make sure you have that composure. Of course, West always mentions the notorious Patriot League Wars. Of the way this conference is set, the two teams, as he says, due to the lack of soccer, more of just a physical play, something Lafayette likes to bring. For Americans to do well, they can't play down to Lafayette's level. We're not even 10 minutes to this game, and it's a, this game is at that very chippy level already. Of course, this is a Lafayette team that is no shame of not scoring as many goals. Six of their games this season have been in overtime ties. goes out of bounds for a leopard throwing. Of course, overtime ties would be exciting at this level because you get the you get the kicks. Something American does not want to see. Abadada deflected off Manly. Go out of bounds. Toots and it's a high and long. Think. Leopard's pushing multiple maroon shirts forward. Throw out to Manley. Hunter. Pass forward deflected by Schaffenberger, American throw. To McDonald. Defended by Turner. McDonald staying with it. Finally cleaned out by Betson. And another foul on American. Final warning to Cristobal Soto. Yes, not helping to the tension of the game is just some aggressive refereeing right now. Stern talk to the Chilean. And fans definitely will let it known. So Peckham will take the free kick again, this time on the far side, about 30 yards out. Into the box, miss hit by, I believe that was Turner. First team all defense, junior from Bayshore, New York. Look at the amount of juniors on this team, Zach. It should be no surprise that Lafayette should be in contention for next year's tournament as well. 
I think even with uh, with uh, a couple players from AU leaving, with Knutson coming back, and and a lot of the young guys and just the program that Coach West has, you can expect AU to be right here as well. It's interesting they return four first team all Patriot League players next year: goalkeeper Knutson, Soto, McDonald, and Colin Siegfried. Out wide. Fink. Reflected off of Osborne, second corner coming up for oh, the Leopards. Goes off yet playing a 4 4 2, but of course it seems like those four midfielders just seem to be beating Americans' midfielders where it counts and getting multiple numbers forward. Putting the American back four on their heels early. 32 28 to go in the first half. Still scoreless here at Reeves Field. Golden opportunity for Lafayette. Headed by Betson over the bar. American goal kick. Betson 6'2", 170, Fairfield, Connecticut defender. One of the few seniors for this Leopards lineup. Soto knocks it back in. Wide Osborne. This is where American strives. A fine facet of their game is a pass given away. Abudado, good tackle by Soto. So Ameri I was going to applaud American in the way they're able to stretch the field out and play the easy one, two touch balls. That could have been a lot more dangerous, that errant pass. And, and that was really a great play by Soto to get a clean tackle. Um, right near the box on, on if you know if he missed times that that could have been deadly and but but the way things are going for Lafayette you have to just think it's a matter of time before they put one in unless a you can change something so Fallon Turner takes away the free kick opportunity, or more like the throw-in opportunity. American will try to set up shop and get their possession game going. It's Coach Dennis Baum, the general, as they like to call him, in his 12th season at Lafayette. Back in the tournament once again. Quick giveaway. We mentioned the soggy field. Seems like overwatering has been a grandiose case this year. But that's what happens when you play three matches in two days. Hoshal, Siegfried, plays it back to Manley. Manley looking for McDonald. Gets by Plummer. Pressure by American. Gets it out of bounds, but it will stay with the Leopards. Lafayette in the maroon. American in the white. Michael Gardner, Zach Powell here. And Reeves Field, the nation's capital for the 2012 Patriot League Tournament Championship. Winner go home and an automatic NCAA tournament berth on the line. Under 29 minutes to go in the first half, still scoreless. Both teams have had their chances, but it's been Lafayette early in this match with numerous set piece and goal scoring opportunities. And here come the Leopards again on the break. Scharfenberg plays it wide. Kane tracks back. Yeah. 
And fans of the latest news and stories on the Patriot League, follow the Patriot League Twitter page at www.com. Uh, Twitter.com backslash Patriot League. I use the at Patriot League hashtag or Twitter handle. Scharfenberg, good defending by Weinrib. Weinrib well, making limited starts this year for Coach West's squad, but needless to say, the junior from East Rutherford, New Jersey, has shown signs of brilliance for only being a sophomore. Yeah, I mean that was that was an excellent pick right there, and that's exactly what the what the doctor ordered with how uh, Lafayette's dominating in the midfield. But um, a guy that I'm also really impressed with today is Alison Kane. He's really playing uh, across the whole field really really well so far. Definitely playing like a guy that this is his last collegiate game. Would love to play more soccer. One of the three seniors. Rouse through ball, running on is Siegfried. Good defense by Plummer. Hunter knocks it into the box. Headed out. Step. Almost a giveaway. Hey, turn on it, man on. plays it up to Osborne. Osborne left footed cross. Hoschild, out wide Osborne. Osborne to Hunter, Hunter to Morales. Morales switches the field, finds Soto. Cristobal Soto, There's Ryan Morales. Siegfried, putting pressure on Plummer, forced to kick it out. It's always a it's always a good sign when you're not the team that's that's doing the flopping, that's doing the whining to the referees, because that means you're just focused on getting your goal. You're not you're not frustrated. And uh, AU is in that place right now. They weren't at the start of the game. They're in that place right now where they're just focused on getting it to the back of the net right here. Low ball from Osborne, high in the air. Anyone's ball. Schaubenberger. Fink Tabadado. Heads up play, uh, Knutson did not want to get the pass back penalty. So it's another corner, the third of the afternoon for the Leopards. 25-33 to go in the first half. Peckham again, who will take the Lafayette corner, corner kick. To be taken by number eight, Sean Peckham. It's been kind of a, a flustered game from Knudsen so far today, which is to be expected in his you know, first championship game. But it, it's all about getting through this half with nothing on the board. That's, that's really just got to be what he's thinking. Sky for the header. Schaffenberger finds the back of the net. And the Leopards have struck first. We've seen the set pieces be the Achilles heel for American. And it's proved again as the senior forward skies for the header. Lafayette's up 1-0 here at Reeves Field. And there it is, it came back to get him. But you talked about the Navy game where they proved they can come back from those deficits. They just gotta try and get this even. Lafayette, they scored early as well in the game against Colgate on a similar set piece. Raiders failed to clear it out of the box. And that was Golini who scored the goal on Friday. Now Scharfenberger scores his first goal of the tournament. Comes a 24 48 to go in the first half. Now, if you're Lafayette, do you play conservative, knowing that you have this goal lead, or do you continue to open the floodgates? You continue to open the floodgates because they've been the ones getting uh, the opportunities, and if you can get a if you can get a second goal right here, then then that's when you can start playing conservative. But while you have the momentum, keep it going. Hunter's pass deflected. Kane trying to be his man down the sidelines. Kane looking for McDonald. That's all shot. Big switch to Jordan Manley on the far side. Back to Soto. 
Find it about Osborne. Quick uh, mental lapse as it's a throw in for Lafayette. Abadado on the interception. Looking for Golini. Hurdles Knutson. We have a few players on this roster making their first start in the Patriot League tournament. Weinrev, Knutson, Hunter, Hochschild, McDonald. So you matter if the Inexperienced Eagles lineup can sort of come back being down a goal in a must win situation. It's very nearly a handball right before on uh, on Morales. Donald Hostile, Siegfried. Service on the ground to Kane. Kane, turn, looking for a shot. Can't get the shot off. Scalini clears it out of bounds. Kane has such a comfort in the box, and, and that showed there. And he really didn't have a shot the whole time, so he was right to try to make a move to get some space. American throw deep in Lafayette territory. Throw into the box, head it up. Hot shot wide to Manley. Manley into the box, looking for McDonald, heads it down. Multiple headers. That's where Lafayette can do damage is in the air. Throw him back to Soto. Osborne finds Hunter. American now starting to get into their groove, stretching the field out with some nice passing. Osborne takes matters in his own hands, finds Hochschild. Hunter. To Soto. One touch ball. Hostile will try a crack. Besides, it wasn't a handball again. As Turner was on all fours trying to deflect that ball. Weinreb. America continuing to stretch the field, keep possession with the white shirts. Weinreb plays it to Soto. Siegfried. Play on, says the man in charge. Here comes Peckham. Leaves it off to Plummer. The American defense is able to check back and get numbers. Looks like maybe that was a case of, uh, of, a, of a muddy pitch helping out the home team. Slowing it up and a great job by uh, Sony to go and clear that out. So um, disaster averted. Weinrub carries it. Osborne and McDonald. Plummer to Turner. Schaffenberg plays it wide to Fink. Line right back to Knutson. Has the mood of the game 
and the pace starting to slow down a little. Of course, these lulls are where usually American strikes. Just a matter of when they can get that equalizing goal. Afamato. Left footed strike saved by Knutson. And look at this, moving it already in transition. Are you wasting no time? They usually get teams on the counter. Hochschild. Siegfried slips by a defender. Harrison called with the foul at the midfield. Morales looking for options. Switches it to Manley. Manley carries it. Looks for Siegfried. Trying to find McDonald on the post up. Across the box headed by Plummer. Peckham comes away at the steal. Carries it. Finds Schaffenberg. Switches out wide to Fink. Fink with time and space. Fink will tee off, low dribbler out of bounds. On frame, but not on target. I liked what I saw from uh, the defender, Josh Brown, who was just sprinting up the field, and, and that could have been deadly. I mean, if, if that was, I don't, I'm not sure if that was a shot or a pass, a bad pass or a, or, or a bad shot, but it's right in between. 17 minutes to go, Lafayette won, American zero. In the 2012 Patriot League championship game. America conceding a first goal of the tournament. Kyle Schaffenberg. Scoring the goal on a lofty header off of one of three corner kicks for the Leopards. Siegfried looking for Kane. Hunter to McDonald. Kane taken down. Play on, says the man in charge. Here comes Lafayette on the counter. Brown. Abadado. Clean pick. Officials say play on. Hunter sends it forward. McDonald giving chase. Turner on the defense. American throw in, no foul. Fish wow. is letting the run of play continue. Wow. I mean, this is just a, this is a complete 180 from the beginning of the game where every little bit of contact was a foul, and now, and now they're letting him play for sure. Sigfrey like trying to get his service. Hostile McDonald. Back to Manley. He, something you'll always hear Salaku coaches say during the game it, when, it's, when too much fouling has been called is every, every, every touch isn't a, is a foul. And... Uh, <laughs> Definitely was that way towards the beginning of the game. We've seen some, we've seen some hard hits, and especially on the other side of the field too. Hey, you getting physical? Of course, Peckham, great defense. That's something that's really taken away Americans' fast-paced game is the continuing block shots and headouts by the Lafayette defense. Another block, and this time Americans, the victor of a set piece corner kick opportunity coming up for the Eagles. And fans, make sure to buy the latest in Patriot League merchandise and apparel. From each of the Patriot League universities, visit the American Patriot League Corps store at www.patriotleaguestore.com. To get all the merchandise in the Patriot League schools from around the conference. Siegfried will take this. Hey! Look! Thank you! Card is shown. Bedson with a yellow. The officials have awarded a penalty kick, I believe, as a foul in the box sets up a golden opportunity for the Eagles to tie this game. 
And right now, I am I am feeling incredibly nervous. I can only imagine how they are on the pitch. It's going to be yellow uh, card issue to Lafayette. It's going to be Alisane Kane, who's Benson. usually calm and calm American at the line. He's been he's been doing this since last year. Penalty kick to be taken by number and, nine, uh, Alisane Kane. Devastating call for Lafayette. Kane going against McDonald. Golden opportunity for the Eagles to tie it at the foot of their senior forward. Official giving a warning to McDonald for stalling. More Thir aggressive officiating right there. 13.57 to go. Spot kick for Kane. Saved by McDonald. Huge for the Leopards. Which they thought they've given the game away with a handball or foul in the box by Betson. Keeps the game 1-0 in Lafayette's favor. Let's see how America can bounce back from this. American looking for more. Let's see how number nine can redeem himself. McDonald settles the ball. Schaffenberg heads it to Morales. And oh, no call there. And now there's a little pushing you after the play. That was a push on 17. Harrison, Hunter, Siegfried. Nate, Nate Aronson got away with a, with a, with a lot of pushes right there. Aronson, Officials, rather. the ebb and flow of this game, very interesting, Zach. We saw at the beginning, multiple fouls being called, stern talks by the officials. And then for these past few minutes, They've let some things slide, but it seems like the game could be getting out of hand. The officials have to have to have to control this game. They're not doing that. Fink. Intercepted by Osborne. Very rarely are the officials the guys who are yelling the loudest out on the field, and that's what they're doing. And here's saying Kane with another chance. Kane, two men to beat. Looking for Siegfried. Hunter to ah. tee off. Little too high over the bars. Finally, the game is able to settle down. Lafayette substitution coming Tom out to McCutcheon, the field. Number sophomore 18, midfielder Tom from McCutcheon. Westchester, Pennsylvania. Replacing number will two, Kyle Will come into Sharpenberg. the game as the official is given a card to Fink, card issue to who Lafayette, has had more time 16, talking with the Blake linesman Fink. than he has playing the game of soccer. Here with 11.35 to go. See what Spark McCutcheon brings. He's the first sub into today's match. Coming with 11.35 to go. Lafayette still with a 1-0 lead. On a goal from Kyle Scharfenberger. American did have a chance to equalize. But Nate McDonald with a fantastic save on Alisane Kane on a penalty kick. And they're gonna they're gonna try to get insane Kane's head. They're gonna they're gonna try to not let him forget that, but Sane Kane needs to be level-headed. He's, he's a big playmaker for this team. Leopards pressing. Gotta make sure you don't foul here. Hoschild slides it out. Fink into the box. One-time strike from McCutcheon who just entered in the game. And it goes back to the midfield. Here goes Kane, step overs, hesitated on the shot, still has it. Looking for Siegfried, Plummer there to save it, but a late foul. And I believe Allison Kane will be seeing yellow. It's Plummer on the field. 
It is yellow. Ooh, Kane with the first card. Issue to Americans number nine, Alisane Kane. That was that's a that's a rough call right there. That's a rough call because, I mean, that was not a play out, that was out of frustration. Kane was going and trying to complete trying to complete the play right there. I think that if you're gonna let some of those go and you're gonna call that a card, then that, that's that's a little interesting. McDonald will take the free kick. 10.35 to go in the first half. And a very chippy match between the one and two seed. Think, think this. Wimner up stands his ground. Brown. To Peckham. One of the very few errors we've seen out of Peckham today. Peckham again. Abadadu. Slides it off to Peckham. Peckham beats one, two defenders. Knutson's there to finally scoop it up. But one too many times we've seen Lafayette test this back four from American. Just under 10 minutes to go here in the first. Hoshab. Comes the Leopards again. McCutcheon. Physical match none the least. Second time these two teams have faced each other in the 2012 season. It was a 1 1 tie in Easton. Our American did have a, a, almost the exact situation that Lafayette has now. One goal lead throughout the entire match. Lafayette was able to finally equalize in the final minutes of the game. Morales plays it wide to Manley. One time cross to McDonald. I think he's able to clear it out. Off yet packing the back. Hunter. Hoschild. Leaves it for Morales. Keeps possession in Americans. Weinreb. The Charlie Hunter. McDonald trying to get by Turner. Substitutions coming on to the field. American Lafayette, throwing. Number 11, Greg Bigiani. Replacing number Bigiani will Peter enter onto Lovato. the field. Substitutions for American. Crucial person off the bench six, for Seth the Goldman Leopards. Replacing number 13, Bijani Ryan face, Morales. Uh, replacing Abadadu. Number 11, Daniel Akinkoye. And then Akin for Koye the Eagles, we have number 11, four, Daniel Akinkoye for Charlie number Hunter. Seven, Peter Bem replacing Peter number Bem nine, replacing Al St. Kane. And number 6, Seth Goldman replacing Ryan Morales. I really like Akinkoye in, in this, the way this game is being played. It's being, it's physical, but Akinkoye will get, get by you, and he has excellent speed. Already being utilized. He's chasing. Manley knocks it back in. McDonald coming from the offsides position. Landsman will pick him off all day on that one. Matchup uh, to watch for the rest of this game is is. Uh, is the Fink Osborne one I think that we're seeing come up. I think if Osborne can can get him into making a mistake in another yellow card, that would be something. Cause it cause uh Fink's been frustrated all game. And Koye looking for Siegfried. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep it in bounds, it'll be a souvenir for the fans. And fans this portion of the match brought to you by CBS. Sports Network in the Patriot League. Nearly 20 Patriot League men's and women's basketball games will be on broadcast live on CBS Sports Network, including both championship games. For details on CBS Sports Network, visit www.cbssportsnetwork.com and click on the channel finder feature to find a channel nearest you on your local cable provider. Al Gardner, Zach Powell, Patriot League All Access. 
here at Reeves Field, the nation's capital. Beautiful Sunday afternoon. Of course, anything but beautiful has been on the field of play as we've seen multiple yellow cards been given out. Fouls galore as the one seed, two seed American University Lafayette Leopards trying to bid, trying to fight for an automatic bid to the, page, to the NCAA tournament with a positive result today. Five forty-five to go in the first half. Barrington trying to get something going before halftime, but Lafayette continuing to press and test this inexperienced Eagles back four. Siegfried looking for Bam. Freshman can't get there in time. Lafayette substitution coming on to the field. Number 23, Chandler Fraser Pauls replacing number 16, Blake Fink. Smart move by Coach Baum. Not to let Fink get another yellow card. As, as Chandler Fraser Pauls, sophomore from Pennington, New Jersey, makes his first appearance onto the match today. McDonald, relatively quiet whistle from the officials these past few minutes. Until then, where it's an American free kick opportunity. McDonald, always the victor of the double team from the opponent's defense. This time he's going up against Julian Plummer and first team all Patriot League Brandon Turner. including Rob Bedson, who has a yellow card. Siegfried sends it into the box. Osborne, shot deflected. Go get it, Daniel! 3.55 to go in the first half. Plummer clears it out, American throw. Osborne, leaves it for Hochschild. Shot from Hochschild, oh. just over the crossbar. Hochschild scored the game-winning goal earlier this season, regular season finale against Holy Cross in the 90th minute. Almost had a second goal of the year some moments ago. It seems like when American slows the ball down, keeps possession, builds up the play, they are getting good shot opportunities, aren't they, Zach? Exactly, and, and a lot of times it's uh, Lafayette uh, giving them giving them some help, and, and really Lafayette's defense has been good, but you just gotta hope you're gonna get some of those uh, maybe another a fall in the box or, or something where you get that golden opportunity because uh, they've been able to possess the ball really well. Weinrib luckily gets there in time. Heavy chase being put on by Bigiani. Foul on Hochschild. Ball will stay with Lafayette. 2.28 to go in the first half. Leopards looking for their second goal of the afternoon. Deep kick, Knutson out of his box, punches it out. Finally cleared out by Weinreb, but knocked back into the box. Knutson just gets his head to it. Siegfried back to Osborne, big kick up the field, a minute 38 to go. McDonald, Akinkoye. Manley up to Hochschild. Great defense by Golini. Just 
just over a minute to play here in the first. Are you looking for one last opportunity? To get a goal for halftime would be crucial, especially the momentum. One minute swing remaining of this in the first match. half. One minute. Siegfried. Whips it in to McDonald. Turn and shot deflected. Forty-five seconds, still ample time. Bam loses his footing, wins it back. Thirty on the clock. Soto throws it in, flick on from Bam. Bam trying to cross it in, gets a service. Twenty on the clock. Cleared out by Brown. Weinreb, big boot into the box. Turns Ten, there to get it. Nine, eight, seven, six, oh, hey, five, a... four, three, two, one. Golini will stall play, and that'll do it for the first 45. A very physical, chippy Patriot League war, nonetheless, as we expected here at Riggs Field. But at the end of one is Lafayette one, American zero. We'll pause for our halftime break. We'll come back. We will bring you first half stats and analysis right here on Patriot League All Access. Welcome back to Patriot League All Access's coverage of the 2012 Patriot League Men's Soccer Championship game here in the nation's capital, Mile Garden, along with Zach Powell. Time to bring you the first half stats and analysis. And Zach, after 45 minutes of play, it is Lafayette on top so far. The one goal advantage scored in the 20th minute. Scharfenberger, header from about five yards out, out of one of three corner kicks Lafayette had in the first half. That seems to be the difference of the set pieces. I mean, this, it, the set pieces is one thing, but it's really just execution. I mean, you want to talk about a beautiful set piece, uh, AU had a PK to shoot, so, uh, and, and they didn't convert, and so, that's what it comes down to, execution. Towards the end of the half, AU really got the offense moving. They were moving the ball well. I see no reason why they can't put a goal in if they're going to play like they did at the end of the half. Because that's relatively the same when you look at an American Knutson with two saves, McDonald with one save coming off that penalty kick. The shots were period. American had seven, Lafayette six, foul seven to five. Three to one corner kicks advantage is crucial, though. But the one big thing for American to do is to come out strong these first five minutes of the second half. Because Eagles in very rare territory when they've been trailing coming out of the half and coming back for a win. It was tied 1-1 when the Eagles faced the Navy midshipmen that was here at Reeves Field earlier this season. But also another advantage American has is they are not going into the sun. Lafayette, as we mentioned, the nice weather we have. A 1 o'clock start, though, means it around... Two o'clock, the sun's starting to set, and Nate McDonald will be facing the adversity that Knutson had in the first half. And and Knutson didn't show well. I mean, I think if you're you know you're a goalie at, at this level, you, you really know how to work around the sun, and you really know how to do that. But um, definitely, definitely, any little advantage you can get that might cause a mistake and and get you that one goal is uh, is really important. And it's something else to see is. I'm really curious as to how the refs are going to call the second half. They've kind of had, had been two different ref crews. They've been letting some big things go and calling some tiny things. If, if they're calling tiny things, it definitely changes the way things are going with a couple guys with cards already and, and, and with some opportunities that might come up as far as another PK or, or uh, some, some close free kicks. Just to recap those uh, yellow cards, number 14, Rob Benson, one of the four defenders in this Lafayette lineup, has one, Allison Kane for American, and of course, number six, Blake Fink, three yellow cards. So 45 minutes will tell the story if we have to settle this in sudden death overtime or if the Lafayette Leopards will claim their first title in almost a decade, since 2005 to be precise. So can the American Eagles get the monkey off their back, making it to the title game four years in a row and coming up empty all those times. So we're moments away from the second half kicked off. The Eagles will have the same lineup that exited the field at halftime. Knutson and Goal, Manley, Soto, Weinreb, and Osborne in the back four. The midfield will feature Seth Goldman, Hoschild, and Daniel Akinkoye in the front line. Colin Siegfried, 
Dale McDonald and Alisane Kane, which will be interesting to see how the senior can overcome that missed penalty kick earlier in this match. And especially with a card that I don't, I'm not sure it was completely deserved that card, but with with a card on him, uh, and and with the temper we know that he has, I mean it's 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 not it's nothing too crazy, but definitely something that could get him a card. And, and at that point, it becomes beyond it goes beyond a personal thing. And you know you're playing you're playing a man down really hard to come back. So. Um, but, but I, I really do think he needs to be in there and he needs to be making plays because he's, he's, he's the guy who starts things up. He's their spark plug. McDonald will start and go for the Leopards. Plummer, Turner, Brown, Harrison. Kankoya kicks it off. Second half of play. Can the Eagles find the equalizer? Or Lafayette have to be 45 minutes away from an NCAA tournament bid. Including in the midfield. If Arison, who's actually moved up into the defensive mid position, Fink is on the far side. Golini in the midfield as well, along with Peckham. And Scharfenberg, the goal scorer today, as well as Abudado, will be the front two for the Leopards. Donald giving chase. Look at Dale go. McDonald looking for a chance, not there. The ball goes back to the Leopards. Abadado chasing it down. Wagner plays it wide, Jordan Manley. Siegfried will tee off. Not on frame as it sails to the left. American getting shots. And School scoring opportunities early. Let's see what this 11 starting the second half can do as we will most likely see Morales and Hunter return onto the pitch for the Eagles. I love every time Siegfried touches the ball because you know something <laughs> could definitely happen. He's been not only a prolific goal scorer for the Eagles this year, but he's also been uh, on the side of many assists. Led the league in assists and points. It's Kane's through ball not there. Second in the league and goals, Scholar Athlete of the Year, first team all Patriot League. McDonald, another shot, three straight shots for the American Eagles. The opportunities are there. Just need to get it closer on frame. This Lafayette defense is still sort of regrouping from the halftime discussions they received from their coach. Goldman trekking down. Forty-two, thirty-three to go. All Garden along with Zach Powell. Patriot League All Access covered to the 2012 Patriot League Tournament Championship. Live from the nation's capital on Reeves Field on the campus of American University where Lafayette is trying to hold on to a one goal lead. Oh, watch that, that's, that, that's card worthy right there. Officials will bypass on the yellow, but it sets up a Colin Siegfried free kick. That's, that was a, that was a, I know I just got beat foul. That was a holding onto the shoulders tackle. Lafayette scored on their set piece. See if American can duplicate. Abadado being the one man wall. Whipped into the box. Think. Back to Weinreb. Intercepts it. Sharpenberg got fouled there. Of course, that's one thing that's added and discussed is the amount of balls in the air that American could potentially win. As we mentioned at the top of the broadcast, this Leopards defense features guys that are 6'4", 6'2", and 6'5". 
acrobatic little uh, little header to the setup there. Look and see if Akinkoye can find the same cane. Goes the other way with it. Plays it wide, giving McDonald time and space. Dale has been struggling with this open field. Let's see if he can get a shot off. Great defense by Plummer and Turner. That tandem has been a thorn in McDonald's side all afternoon. Look at Weiner right there winning that ball. Peckham plays it back. Petson up forward to Fink. Fink. I shot to Peckham. Left footed dribbler. He Arches. That one back. Just wide, and it'll be an American goal kick. 39.54 to go. Knutson opts to not take the quick pass to Manley. Head of the Goldman. House and came. Manley to McDonald. McDonald out wide to Siegfried, defended by Brown. Plays it back to Osborne. Osborne. Siegfried lofts into the box. Goldman, header, looking for McDonald. Foul McDonald. Of course, interesting matchup between Plummer and McDonald. He had the sophomore beat on the first time. This is Plummer's first opportunity in the Patriot League Championship game. This is McDonald's as well. You were going to say, Zach? Oh, I was going to say that Mc McDonald tried to um, cover, cover up the, the foul there with a, little, with a little dive. But I really do like what I'm seeing from McDonald, even though he's not getting the shots off. He's, being, he's, he's playing hard right around the net. And... He's a big physical guy, that's his game. Also is showing excellent speed today. I mean, he's doing a good job. Speaking of speed, Akinkoye to Goldman. Gives it to Goldman. Just a little too far out of the feet of the redshirt senior. Goldman pressuring. Harrison kicks it. Play hold! give him the ball, Daniel! Peppered throw. 38 minutes to go in the second half. Honest defending. Honest defending. Hey, double that. Late whistle by the officials. Another foul now. St. Kane sets up a free kick for the Leopards. Who we have shown earlier in this match they can capitalize on those set piece opportunities. Every foul on Kane gets you a little a little worried at this point. I still think you have to go with him. Siggy! Siggy, right! Siggy! Right! Peckham. Get up there, big boy. <laughs> Knutson stops the upper 90. Knutson needs to be big. He was big in the Navy game where American came back from a similar deficit to a similar Patriot League opponent. You know, you don't really, you don't really think about this because right now the focus is so much on, on scoring the goal, but Knutson's still the biggest, most important guy in this game right now. A lot of pressure given to a junior, but he has to keep... The one goal deficit at bay if American wants a shot at tying this match. I mean, he's the he's the he's a all Patriot League player. Goalkeeper of the year to boot after guarding the last three Patriot League weekly goalkeeper awards. Akinkoye. Really been sort of an MVP this season, filling in for Makowski and. American throw, 36 minutes to go. Lafayette one, American zero. Eagles looking to get another shot on goal. McDonald. Two touchdown! Hey, get up, get up, get up! 
Turner kicks it off the outside of his foot out of bounds. We'll get a chance for American to send numbers forward. Let's see if they let's see if they try to move it move it back here and then try to see if they can get a kick up. Look at this, get it to Osborne and see if Osborne can set one up. Osborne switches the field to Manley. Manley can push it here. Lots of space. Manley take it on the sidelines, defended by Peckham. Try to get a corner, and he won't. Wasted opportunity for the Eagles, goal kick for the Leopards. I, I like that move from Manley, though. He wasn't fast enough to execute it, but if he could have tried to either cross one and it either gets through or goes out for a corner, that's, that's a nice little play there. But. McDonald takes the goal kick. The, the Quick throw and taken. Plummer's there. Another foul, McDonald. Great defending by Arison and Turner and Plummer. That back four been rock solid for Lafayette. Lofty chip by Arison. Flicked on by Peckham. Alan Soto. Under 34 minutes to go here in the first half. Second half, excuse me. This Pac-Man will take a long free kick. Peckman throws it in. Schaffenberg almost the victor of that header again. So he scored his first goal in the 20th minute. And the difference maker this afternoon. American has had their chances, but Nate McDonald saving an Al St. Kane penalty kick. Kane McDonald, back to Goldman, looking for Akin Koi, but great defense by Schaffenberg. Goldman also uh, lost himself in the turf there, took out a huge chunk. That's been another element of this match, the poor field conditions these teams are playing on. Really, really confusing why the field conditions are, are, are poor. I mean, there there has been uh, there has been a fair amount of action this weekend, but uh, the. Uh, the, the women weren't here, you know, this weekend. It shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be that shoot up. McDonald trying to split defense. It's Plummer again, standing tall. Harrison to take the throw. 31-40 to go in the second half. And again, Beckman. Play staying mostly on this half of the field is the third straight throw in by Harrison.
Here's Pegman. Bedado shot headed up by Soto. In the fourth corner of the afternoon for the Lafayette Leopards. 30 36 to go in the second half. This corner brought to you by the Patriot League Store. Buy the latest Patriot League merchandise and apparel from each of the Patriot League schools. Visit the Patriot League Ziggy. Store at www.patriotleaguestore.com for official merchandise of all the conferences and universities. Peckman insert it once again. Do it again. Come on. This time from the far side. They stopped the clock on Friday. Schaffenberg looking for Golini. Loses footing. Here comes Alice Saint Kane. Thrown to Akinkoye. Set out wide to Manley. And Coy out wide to Manley. Hoshaw switching the field to Osborne. American looking for an equalizer. Oh, another late whistle by the official. Very indecisive of his calls, but nonetheless to say he's kept the game pretty level so far. The ebb and flow has been. McDonald will take the free kick. American needs a counter. by Goldman, headed out by Hofschild. Benson knocks it back in, it'll end to be cleared up by Soto. Kane kicks it out of bounds. Lafayette substitution. Substitutions. McCutcheon field, returns back 18, onto the field. Tom McCutcheon replacing number two, Kyle Scharfenberg. Scharfenberg exit the field. As he walks off, his 20th minute goal has been the decisive factor here today. 26-52 to go in the second half. Lafayette one, American zero. Siegfried. Manly to Hoschild. Hoschild, big switch to Osborne. Osborne crossing the box. Deflected off a Lafayette defender and a corner. Siegfried will take the second corner kick of the afternoon for American. American Zach Pelican a little excited there. Thought that could be it. I liked it. I liked it. It was, uh, you know, you always get a little. When, when the goalkeeper doesn't move at it, you get a. Siegfried's cross by Goldman. McDonald's there with the save. Some scuffle being arranged. McDonald's in the middle of it. Al Saint Kane. Soto. 
A Lafayette player on the ground. It's both the center official and the linesman. And now you just got to watch for what cards are going up, if any. Smart play of Hochschild pulling McDonald away. Clock continues to run as a red card being shown. To I believe it's a Dale McDonald. Huge turning point in today's match. As after McDonald came away with the save, I believe it was Arison, one of the defenders, hit the ground hard. But the results of Dale McDonald making a late exit from this championship game. As Arison has a nasty gash just below his eye. So now American down a goal, down a man. 25-39 to go in this match. As things are getting interesting now. And American's chances of another uh, chance of their Patriot League title is slowly dwindling away with these series of unfortunate events. Red card issued to Americans, number 30, Dale McDonald. It's Eric Cannon will make his first appearance onto the field for the injured Arison. As we are having a discussion of whether more time should be added. Currently 25, 39 to go in the match. You could possibly see about 15, 20 seconds added on. But things getting dicey here at Reeves Field. And fans, you can also watch the Patriot League Women's Volleyball Championships on Patriot League All Access next weekend as Colgate American Army and Lehigh vie for the league title and a berth to the NCAA tournament, along with nearly every game during the Patriot League portion of the men's women's basketball schedule. Patriot League All Access. The game's on, no matter where you are. Lafayette substitution coming on to the field, number 22, Eric Cannon. Placing number 17, Nate Aronson. So now Ryan Morales will turn back onto the field for Jake Weinreb. And so getting, a, getting American sort of that mid end to the field, defense, number 13, to put a little more action, Ryan Morales, uh, uh, replacing a little more firepower in there. It'll put Hoshaw back in the center back to join Soto, Osborne, and Manley. Morales, Goldman, Akinkoye will be your attacking three, but now only two forwards. Al St. Cannon, Colin Siegfried. As Dale McDonald sent off by the center official with a red card. Let's see how the Eagles react. Playing a man down and down a goal. Here's Fink. And, and the thing is, you know, it's 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 not over. They need to. I mean, the one goal is going to be incredibly hard to get. But once they get that, then it's just defensive minded and try to try to play until it kicks because being a man down is tough. Cross to the box, Knutson has to scoop it out. Otherwise McCutcheon was there on the doorstep. But we see Arison back on the field. Lafayette substitution. Coming back on number 17, Nate Aronson. Coming off number 22, Eric Cannon. Corner inserted. Golini chases it down. Touches it back in the box, headed out by Goldman. Siegfried 
through ball to Akinkoye. Brown's there to clear it back up the field. Double it! Double down! Interception by Soto. Dallas St. Kane trying to go 1v4. McDonald took the free kick. 23.54 to go in the second half. Touch it by, and there's the dagger. It's McCutcheon. Miscommunication from Hochschild and Knutson as McCutcheon, or excuse me, that's Abudado, by number 19, Peter giving the final salute to the fans. By number 19, Peter Adubado. Adubado has been a flea around the field. And just delivered what he thinks would be the knockout punch. Coming on to the field, number 23, Chandler, miscommunication with the American defense. 2-0, 29-39 to go. As Jay Shows enters the game for the first time. American along with Frazier Pauls. Field, number three, Jay Shotes, replacing number eight, Jordan Manley. Now this is where things get really, really difficult. Of course, there's the matter of the extra man. It could have definitely helped. But the Lafayette forwards have definitely been sort of stealth all afternoon, sinking on the American defense, which is fairly inexperienced in the championship game, as Hostile, Manley, and Weinreb all making their first Patriot League finals debut. Soto lofts it in. Kane's header. Goldman shot just wide of the post. Senior wanting a foul in the box, but that was will not get for that. That was probably the best looking opportunity. Lafayette substitution today, coming so. on to the field. Number 11, Greg Vigiani, replaces the way things number are going 19, right now, said, Peter Adubato. Right Adubato will exit the field, scoring the second goal of the match. Well deserved one nonetheless. Vigiani. Defended by Schultz. Given away, Peckman. Vigiani out wide. Frazier Pauls, left footed cross, Hoshab. Pass to Goldman, kicked back up the field by Turner. Al St. Kane. Osborne, big switch to Schultz. And Koye to Siegfried. Let's see if he can find Akinkoye again here. There it is. Passing on the same page. Bedson intercepted by Morales. Hoshild. Soda. Hoshild carrying it. It's back to Morales. Switching the field, Soto. Siegfried out wide of Schultz. Siegfried. Soto switching the field, Hoshild. A team with 10 men trying to score. Goldman, header. Put out by Turner, American corner. You want to talk about 
I mean, just last one minute of play. American I mean, corner kick to take a mind, number 19, that's looked, Collins, you know, Siegfried. He's been the team that's looked more calm, and, and AU is just really looking good. Let's see if they can get something here. Goldman's header across the face of goal, but not there. Here comes Peckman. Slipping it to Bigiani. Out of bounds. Six feet to throw it in. Looking for Goldman. Goldman beats one. Right footed strike deflected. Benson giving chase. Managed to keep it in bounds. So it'll be an American throw. I'll tell you what, Goldman's having a heck of a game. His final match, if it stands. Suffer, has suffered an ACL injury in his career and has come back. Siegfried throw. Head up by Schaffenberg. Goldman back heel. Siegfried. McDonald there to Sky. Has been huge for Lafayette. Multiple saves, including the one on the series of events. They got Dale McDonald receiving a red card save. The Al St. Kane PK. Harrison able to keep it in bounds. Header by Bigiani, beats Schultz, right footed strike, saved by Knutson. He wants seconds though. Peckman, 18.38 to go. There's Osborne. Plummer's there to clear it out. Substitutions coming on to the field. Charlie Hunter Lafayette. returns for Daniel Akinkoye. Number two, Kyle Sharfenberg. Freshman of freshmen. Number five, Alec Golini. And Fink returns number 16, as well Blake as Sharfenberg. Fink replacing number 18, Tom McCutcheon. For American coming on to the field, number four, Charlie Hunter replacing number 11, Daniel Akinkoye. 18 minutes to go. Still plenty of time for American to get a goal back. Sharfenberg. All by himself, 2v2. Shot to Fraser Pauls. Header by Morales. He'll carry it. Still Morales. Finds Siegfried. Siegfried looking for Goldman. Hunter. Shouts up to Goldman, headed out by Plummer. Fraser Pauls. Slips it into Peckman. One more time to Fink. Peckman. Carrying it. Sixteen forty six to go. Substitutions coming As out. Adubato returns back onto the field. Adubato replaces number eleven, Greg Scoring Bigiani. Second goal in today's match. And Matt Harlow making his first appearance 20, onto the field for Connor Osborne. Number two, Connor Osborne. Harlow, sophomore from Gaithersburg, Maryland, transfer from St. John's University. Lafayette corner taken by number eight. Sixteen ten to go here in regulation. Knutson plays it quick to Morales. Up to Harlow. First touches of the match. Allison Kane. Kane will switch. Fraser Pauls the interception. Coming across, Christo! Christo! Just over fifteen and a half left. 
Touch the slide. Finds Morales in the midfield. Morales is passed on the same pace as Kane. Schaffenberg. Substitution coming on to the field for Lafayette. Golini will turn back onto the field. Alec Golini replaces number eight, Sean Tackle. Dennis Bone trying to stall. Fourteen thirty-six to go. Another miss hit, luckily finds the foot of the Leopards, but Siegfried intercepts it, switches it to Schultz. Kane trying to keep it in bounds. Eagles putting pressure, forcing McDonald to kick it out. Treffenberg, looking for Abadado. Found American free kick for the Leopards. 13-25 remaining in regulation. Peckman to take it. 2-4-over-Benson-trying-to-chase-it-down. That's a hard foul right there. American now just playing with sheer anger, trying everything they can to prevent the shutout. Get our uh, first look at Kuramoto soon. 12.09 to go here in the second half. Lafayette two, American zero. Leopards had a one goal advantage into halftime. With a header by Kyle Schreifenberg, American had their chances for Dale McDonald received a red card after an American corner, which the Eagles had a great goal scoring opportunity from a header from Goldman, but it's been all downhill for the Eagles since, as every foul's been called their white shirts away. And then Peter Abudato, junior scoring the second goal, his first of the tournament, to give the Leopards a 2 0 lead with under 12 minutes to go in the match. Nice tackle there. There's Morales. Pass out wide to Arison. Big left footed kick, switching the field. Abadado leaves it off, Fink. 
skies over the bar. Substitutions coming on to the field for Lafayette. Number eight, Sean Peckham replaces number two, Kyle Sharfenberg. As Al St. Kane Also for the, the Leopards, field. number 24, for Michael Peter Bloom Bem. replaces number Chris 19, Chris Caramato check in for the first Bloom. time. For Colin Sigfried. For Siegfried. American coming on to the field, number As seven, Michael Peter Bloom. Bem replaces Make number his nine, first Alice A. Minutes Kane. of action today. Also number 16, Chris Kuramoto replaces number 19, Colin Siegfried. Got to watch out for a, a foul. Oh, there it is. That's a pick. Throw in AU. Hush out, Harlow. Miss hit to Bam. Miscommunication all over the field for the Eagles in this match. And it's just an interesting, um, it's interesting to see uh, how this how this game has gone, especially with the star players, uh, Sam Kane and, and uh, Dale McDonald, and those are two guys who get into it a lot, and a lot of the times it, it helps AU uh, get over the top with the, those extra plays and the, that extra passion, and sometimes it doesn't, and today's one of those days where it didn't, but, you know, they, they live and die on, on just that passion, and, and just also some crisp some crisp soccer, but, but that too. Of course, a lot of that has been passes in the Hitting multiple clumps on the field as the Eagles still trying to keep their composure with 8.46 to go. That's intercepted by Morales. But it seems like the Lafayette Leopards have been more physical and stronger on the ball today in this match, which has proven dividends, especially on the set piece opportunities we have seen. Raise your paws. Eight fourteen to go in the second half. Two zero Lafayette leads. Second seed over the one seed in the Patriot League Championship game. Second consecutive year American has hosted this tournament. They do not want history to repeat themselves following three zero to Colgate last year. That's Bloom. Knutson makes another save. What a what a sequence right here. AU looks to have gotten out of it. Nice job, AAU. Ryan's pass intercepted. Goldman, Hunter, switching it to Harlow. Seven minutes to go. Bem loses it. Nice one touch string to Bloom. Bloom still has it. Peckman plays it back to Aronson. It's out of the interception. Here over six left in the game. Seth. 
Out wide, Frazier Pauls. Lafayette just breaking down the Eagles' defense. But interception, Goldman. Substitutions coming on to the field. Patrick Mailer will number enter the field for the first time today. Number 16, Blake Fink. Number 11, Greg Vigiani replaces number Vigiani and Eric Michael Gordon return on as well. And number 22, Eric Cannon replaces number 23, Chandler Fraser Pauls. Substitution for American. Hunter throw in. Number 18. Headed up Patrick by Mayer Turner. Number 13. Straight up on McCutcheon. Mail it. Schultz looking for Goldman. Vigiani beats Harlow. Left footed strike saved by Knutson. Shepard away, still in bounds. McCutcheon will try a shot. The junior's there. It's the ninth shot on goal. Peter, Peter, Peter in the channel. They bring the heavy hitters Lafayette has today. Especially putting a man down, the advantage is clearly there for the team in Maroon. Vigiani. Hushal. 3.54 remaining. Bam heads it. Here's Harlow. Goldman keeps it alive. Stays with America. 3.30 remaining. Mailer, chip shot, headed out by Plummer. Knutson. Bam, miss hit McCutcheon. Stays with Lafayette. Harrison take the throw in. Just a hair under three left. Colgate substitute. Lafayette substitution coming on to the field. Number 24, Michael Bloom. Bloom will return back onto the pitch. Number 11, Greg Vigiani. 2.45 remaining. Harlow carries it. Mail it. Into Goldman. Goldman, the left footed strike. Sails the opposite way he intended. Good ball from Mailer. 217 remaining regulation. Lafayette can taste that tournament berth. Donald kicks it forward. There are two minutes remaining here in the regulation. Hunter switches it to Schultz. Schultz. McDonald will hold it. We approach a minute and a half remaining. Lafayette faithful rising to their feet for the final time. Hey. 
choked. Hunter knocks it back up the field to Soto. One minute remaining, one minute. A minute remaining here at Reeves Field. Just a, dis a, a disappointing r result for the Eagles today. Things just did not go uh, for them. Just a tough break in both halves. Just a good recap to everyone. Just staying with us here on Page League All Access. It was a physical match from the beginning. Yeah. Lafayette took an early goal lead in the 20th minute, scored by Carlos Schaffenberger, American, trying to get that tie. Threw down to 24 seconds to go. 1-0 one, one, one in halftime. American had some early chances, but the pivotal point about the 60th minute, Dale McDonald ejected with a red card for an elbow to the eye as Coach Baum is dunked. Nine, eight, seven, and it seemed ever six, since that five, man down, four, three, Abu scored two, the winner, and the Leopards one, will celebrate zero. as they are 2012 Patriot League champions and will advance to the NCAA tournament for the first time winning the overall championship since 2005 as Nate McDonald is showered with a sea of maroon as he is probably our player of the game, Zach Powell, because he came up with multiple saves, including the save of the penalty kick on Alisane Kane. And uh, definitely just a really interesting finish. If you noticed a little conflict right at the end there, the, the Gatorade was uh, poured. Before the game was over, the water cooler was in the middle of the field while the game was going on. So, so that explains that sort of uh, the fight there. But yeah, I mean, just a just a tough matchup. Colgate really got the breaks today. They earned it. They played a Lafayette. really tough game. Or Lafayette. I'm so sorry. Colgate. Colgate was uh, set over the PA and they confused me. A very physical Lafayette team. Seemed like the Eagles played down to their level. Didn't really get into the flow they wanted to of the crisp passes. Exactly. As a very physical defensive four and goalkeeper kept. Lafayette active, especially from their front players of Scharfenberg and Abu Dhabi. I mean, he executed. He had, he had that big goal, and, and, and that was the difference. And, you know, who knows how different this game would be if, if AU had that same execution on that PK. It could have been a completely uh, momentum swing if American was able to get the goal back and equalize it. But we'll take a quick break here from Rees Field. But when we come back, we'll be joined by Lafayette coach Dennis Baum here on Patriot League All Access. the pressure on early and often but then in the 64th minute on a set piece corner kick Goldman's header went to the hands of McDonald and then as McDonald is announced player of the game and tournament MVP rightfully so coming away with the save but then Dale McDonald ejected red card shown by the officials American win a man down where Abu Dhabi scored the game winner in the 67th minute to ice the game and give Lafayette their first championship since 2005. Once again, for all of us here at our Patriot League All Access crew, for Zach Powell, I'm Michael Gardner. Congratulating the Lafayette Leopards, 2012 Patriot League champions. Once again, for all our crew and the rest of the Patriot League on the campus of American University, I'd like to say so long. We'll see you next time.